Warning, all electrical equipment should be handled by qualified electricians. Make sure to adhere to all local, national, and international safety laws when handling your equipment. Failure to do so could result in severe injury or even death. Hello everyone, Craig Chamberlain here with Precision Electric. And uh, we're going to be covering a phase converter question that I get all the time when it comes to the uh, SM vector variable frequency drive. Notice I have a demo here. And this is going to be the first of many videos that I put together in an effort to better communicate to our customer base our expertise in the area of drives as well as kind of a clarification of what the capabilities of the equipment we sell is. Um, is it R? Who cares? Anyway. The SM vector variable frequency drive is commonly used as a phase converter. There's a couple different part numbers you can look up. Let me go ahead and bring up the manual here. And essentially, for those of you who don't understand what phase conversion is, is it's the act of taking single phase power, like 120 volts or 240 volts, even 480 or 600 volts, single phase, which means you only have two legs that are actually uh, supplying the power, and converting it into three phase. In other words, three legs or three wires come out of the drive uh, to supply three phase power to a motor. Now, it's important for me to emphasize that it's for a motor because lots of people believe you can use an SM vector as a variable frequency drive for non motors. Not true. Uh, the SM vector variable frequency drive, or any variable frequency drive, also known as a static phase converter, they are actually designed to only run motors, uh, in particular inverter duty rated motors, which we can kind of go into a little more detail here in a little bit because it is related to phase conversion. But notice I pulled a part number here on the manual and uh, there's a type code here. Let me go ahead and highlight over it. ESV751N04TXB. Now what you're mostly interested here in is that TXB at the end. Where that T is at, it indicates that it's actually a three-phase input drive. Uh, if it says YXB, it will actually accept single phase or three-phase as your input. Now here's the trick though, is the SM vector TXB drives that are rated for three-phase can actually be derated for single-phase input, which means you can use the larger three-phase uh, NEMA 4X, I'm sorry, the, lar the larger three phase SM vector drives with single phase input, but you have to do something called derating. Derating is simply saying, okay, I'm gonna bring in single phase and I'm gonna output three phase. Well, does anybody know what happens when you bring in single phase instead of three phase into a drive? And it has to output the same amount of power. So you're taking less power or less flow in with only using two and you're outputting three, so obviously you're going to have to need you're going to need more current on the line side, approximately 73% more, more or less. So essentially, what you're doing is you're saying, yes, I can buy this three-phase TXB drive. I can bring single phase into it, but I need to make sure that I buy a drive that's large enough to handle an additional 73% current on my line side. That process is known as derating. Now we'll do that for you. I mean, if you come to our site and call us and say, hey, I, I, they don't make a YXB, a pre-single phase rated drive in my horsepower size. You know, what size drive do I need? We'll gladly do that for you. But essentially what we'll do is we're going to oversize the drive by approximately 73% or more in an effort to make sure that when you bring your power in, your single phase power in, it will output what you need on the output as well as protect the input of the drive. Does that make sense? So let me kind of uh, allude now to some misconceptions when it comes to phase conversion and using a drive uh, with three phase power on the output to like general electronics instead of a motor or more importantly an inverter duty rated motor. Now a drive itself will output three phase power but the problem is, is that the sine wave is really jagged because it's simulated, it's created by the drive artificially created. The problem with that is is that sine wave will damage electrical components. It'll even cause uh, what they call uh, like little dings or divots in a bearing of a non-inverter duty rated motor or even inverter duty rated motor depending on how inverter duty rated it is. Um, 
but essentially it's good to know that the sine wave that comes out of a drive isn't clean it's not clean power you can't just use it to power any piece of three phase equipment motors can handle the hammering that occurs from that jagged edge uh, especially inverter duty rated motors so essentially a vfd can reduce the lifespan of your motor even uh, but it is a very very cost effective solution to get uh, three phase power from a single phase input as to how much how long it'll affect the lifespan of your motor that depends on the motor how you use it uh, if you are concerned about that you're more than willing to call and we can talk about it uh, but um, essentially it's just good to be aware of what a vfd can do there are other solutions you can do such as like grounding rings uh, in all kinds of different creative ways if you want to eliminate that uh, hammering that occurs uh, but of course these things cost money right which is more money than most of us want to spend unless we absolutely have to so in general the ideal situation is that you have a, a vfd to do, that does your phase conversion then you have an inverter duty rated motor maybe with a grounding ring um, <clears throat> and that's your ideal situation but uh, in its most basic form the SMV as a phase converter will take single phase in, output three phase power, and it will power a three phase motor, but not anything else. So I hope that answers a lot of people's concerns and questions when it comes to using the SMV as a three phase motor converter. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to call us 877-625-2402 or visit our website at precision-elec or precision-elec.com. There will be a link in the video description. Thank you for stopping by, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be making more of these videos, and also feel free to ask questions. You know, perhaps um, I'll make a video for it.